All right, new tutorial, guys. I'll make this one a little bit better than the other one. I had to fill out fucking tons of documents today, so I didn't have time to clearly make a good video before, and a lot of people were complaining they still couldn't sign into their PS3. Um, I would like to remind everybody I'm not Sony, so quit yelling at me. I'm just as frustrated as you are. So let's go and do this. All right, so we got the uh, PS3 over here. Let's turn it on and let's see what happens when you when you first get fucked over by Sony. Yeah, all right. Loading up the PS3. So like I said, I'm going to try to do this step by step and I'll do some editing and, and all that other shit. But I'm just doing it off of my handheld camcorder, so you're going to see this. First you need a system update. So let's do that. Um, sign in. So first things first, system update. might edit this part out, I don't know, shouldn't take very long. Alright, now we're almost done updating the software. Now your system will restart with the new software. Checking for update, installing. Alright, now the software is installed and it's restarting. Alright, so this is what first happens to you now after you install the update. It's not going to let you log in. So, you see up here, an error occurred with the sign in. Alright, my other fucking battery died right in the middle of what I was saying. So, when you ever, whenever you update your software and it restarts, in the corner it should flash that your email or password is incorrect. So, you go up, and you try to sign in, and you have your email address and your password there. And let's see what happens when you try to sign in. Now you get this stupid screen, the dreaded screen everybody hates. Now it says... To sign in on this PS3, you will need to create a device setup password. Scan the QR code with your mobile device or visit this URL to get started. So we're going to skip scanning that code and we're going to go to this URL. But first, we're going to do something on our PC. So first, on our before we copy and paste that URL into here, we are, are going to go on our PC and we are going to go to the playstation.com network page that's the link right here what we're going to do is we're going to go in the corner and we're going to pre-sign in the reason why we're doing this is so when we paste the other code into our link our information is already saved in the cookies so it'll just go right to your account so that's what we're going to do we'll go here Sign in. Oh, cool, it's taking forever. All right, for me, it automatically signed in, so I didn't have to put my details in, so that's good. All right, now we're gonna put this code or this uh, URL into our browser so here we go 
Where was it? Uh, PlayStation.com. We already have half it in there. That's good. I don't have to type too much bullshit out. A C C T. Device password. All right. Now it says for your security, please re-enter your password. I'm not going to show you what that is, so just stare at that what looks like a line of cocaine on my ground, but I assure you it is not. Okay, so now it comes to this page right here. Generate or manage device setup passwords. All right. Now, the reason why I already have two here is because I have numerous PS3 consoles. So you need a device ID for each console. So let's say you have five consoles and five screen names. That means you're going to have to do this 25 times. So for my, uh, for one screen name on two consoles, I've already had to do this twice. My first console, second console, third console so we're doing it again so now what we do is we go to generate new password now you go to this screen here and I am blocking my device setup password so you cannot see it with my ugly hand so what you do is you take this password that's underneath my finger uh, and then you click done. Uh, copy and save that password first off. I actually don't even, let's... Alright, so this is what you do. Your device setup password is underneath my finger. We're gonna take that. We're now gonna go to back to PS3. We'll click O for back. As you can see, your password is now erased you'll have to enter that device setup password into the password box. And what you want to do is check mark these things because from now on on your PS3, you do not use your regular password. You use that device setup password that they gave you down here on your PS3. From now on, this is your PS3 password. If you have more than one console, you need a de device ID for each console. Even though it's the same username, they want a new, a second uh, device ID. And like I showed you on the previous screen, I already had two set up. So we're going to pause this. I'm going to enter in the device ID on here. Oh, also another thing to note is the password is case sensitive, so make sure if the device setup password has capital letters, use those capital letters that it is showing you. Just like a regular password, if you had capital letters, use capital. If it's lowercase, use lowercase. This is a problem that people are doing, <laughs> and so, you know, fix that. Alright, so I just punched in the, the device setup password which just in case I'm going to probably change after I make this video but so now we're going to hit enter like I said make sure you have it saved because now this is your new password for this console click sign in there now it's logged in Now, if we go back to this screen, we click done, and let me put this down for a sec. And now that we click done, you could see that I now have three device IDs instead of two. So that's because I have used this on three different consoles. For most people, it'll only just be one. Um, now, 
if you need another uh, another code for a new console, you generate new password and you put it, you, you, that'll be for the next console. If you want to get rid of the password, you click revoke, that'll delete it, and then you generate a new one. So just to get this straight, console one, console two, console three, all the same screen name, but different consoles. If on console one, I want a new device ID, I just hit revoke, that'll delete it. I generate a new one, put that into console one, and then it'll become the third in the list because it'll be the newest that I did. So I hope that helps people um, explain a little bit better. Uh, this is for previous, um, this isn't for new accounts, this is for previous accounts. Now, I will add also, when I signed in on PS4, it made me set up a two-step authorization. Um, so I had to do that on here, and I used my phone as the, as the two-step. So I'm not going to get into PS4, but I'm just throwing that out there. Also, somebody had mentioned that they had an error when they logged in. I don't know if they're talking about um, an error logging into here, but I had an error logging into here. And what it was is I wasn't accepting the terms of the profile privacy that had been updated a while ago. And that was on my one of my alt accounts, my European alt accounts. Um, I was trying to skip past it, and then it said error or timed out. So what I had to do was first accept that, and then click enter, and then it would let me go forward with this. So I hope that helps a little bit more than the other video did.